So where to next? I mean, we don't have to leave yet. Oh, you wanna try the slide? No, we just get stuck, I reckon. But we can always try the seesaw. Do you really want to try that again after last time? Oh, wait, no. On second thought, let's not. <laughs> That's all. I went so little as I feel the pain in my butt like it was only yesterday. She bounced so hard it caused some major bruising for weeks. I'm not sure you're seesawing right. Also, I'm not sure the seesaw has a fife in it. <laughs> all part of a prank, I'm sure. Unfortunately, I couldn't sit down for a week afterward. Sleeping was almost impossible. Right before our exams, too. She did feel really bad, though. She tried nursing me as best she could. It was, uh, a little weird having her hovering around my... Wow, oh, bad. Stop with those thoughts. We just talked about this. You're thinking something inappropriate, aren't you? No, no, not at all. Oh, shoot, this is bad. Gotta change the subject. I was thinking about... Oh, about how good the weather is. Yeah, that's really nice. Right. I mean, it isn't bad, just not fantastic either. At least it isn't raining, right? Uh-huh. Look, there's... Oh, look at the cloud. Look at that cloud, it's shaped like a face. Oh, where? Before I know it, the two of us have fallen backward into the sand and are gazing up at the sky. And that one looks like an apple. Huh, I would have set a ball, but sure, are you that hungry? <laughs> the big long streak from those jets is always cool to see, too. It really stands out. Especially when you can see them up behind the clouds. True, it sort of looks like the cloud is baking them. Like they're being propelled far across the sky on jets of their own. But, I mean, they kind of are. In the sky, they're moved by the high winds, and clouds are always moving pretty fast. They're just so far away that it looks slow. Like how many clear things that are forever away take longer to move. I mean, yeah, but... Or, when you're looking down from a plane, you can see the ground before you pass the clouds. And now it moves slowly, despite how quickly the plane is moving. It's really cool to see. Have you been in a plane recently? Yeah, yeah I was. I went to America a few months ago. It wasn't for very long, though. Oh, I don't remember you taking time off of school. No, I didn't. It was during the break. Oh, between the school year? That was a while ago, right? Hmm. Uh, did you do much sightseeing? It's a, a long way to go for not much time. No, I didn't really get the chance. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Maybe we can go back there after we graduate. Yeah, that would be nice. Hey, Sayori. I don't mean to pry, but is something wrong? Oh, not, not really. I just don't feel super well. She moves to sit up and I gently clasp her hand. Hey, you don't have to tell me. It's fine. I'm well, sorry for asking. But if you do need anything, I'm here, all right? Yeah. She looks back down at me, a weak smile on her face. Thank you. Thank you. It's not... I don't want to ruin the mood with my problems, you know. Hey, it's cool. I sit up to join her. We have time now if you want to talk about it. I mean, not really. Cool. In that case, let's change the subject. Now, did you want to go grab a bite to eat? I'll start getting... Er, it'll... Yeah, it'll start getting dark soon. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, that'd be nice. We stand, and it occurs to me that she's still holding my hand. I don't really appreciate it. You're just being here and knowing. Well, I know you better than anyone, right? I don't think there's a single thing you could do to surprise me. Huh. I suppose it's a challenge. It sure is. Finally, she starts smiling again. The two of us make our way down the street, with Siri reluctantly letting go of my hand as we leave the park. A part of me wants to grab it again, but she needs time to sort out whatever's bothering her. I don't want to add more pressure. Instead, we walk in peaceful silence toward the center of town. Home at last. Man, that was a long day. Oh, but it was a good one. I haven't had the chance to hang out with Sayori like that for years. It was just pure bliss. I still can't wipe this stupid grin off of my face. Now I'm just throwing something together for dinner, at least before I do some study. Some studying? It'll be a lot of fun going to school tomorrow. 
school. Oh, shoot. I totally forgot to ask if she wanted to walk with me. I better do that now before I forget again. Coming! Oh, I had a feeling it was you. I was meaning to ask the same thing. Huh? You were? Yeah. Cheryl will walk to school with you tomorrow. I was planning on asking myself, honestly, but we just got so distracted by everything that it was hard to find the time. Oh, yeah. Wait, you... <laughs> Trade secrets. You'll never know. All right, then. Keep your secrets. One day I'll find out how you read my mind. No, you won't. She grins at me, closing the door behind her. That girl. I might never understand her, but in the same way I feel like I know everything. Oh, shoot, my pasta. Now it's Thursday the 26th. Uh, fine, I get it, I'm up. Jeez, that gets old real quick. Man, it's almost like I slipped in. Ah, uh, glancing at my clock, it reveals to me that, in fact, I have. Well then, that is unfortunate for me. And Sayori, who was going to walk to... Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. Gotta get ready. Man, that might be approaching the fastest time it's taken me to be ready in. Well, ever, I suppose. Maybe I did better as a kid, but who knows at this stage. Jeez, I thought I was late riser. I was gonna start using you as my alarm clock, but it would seem like you're worse than I am. No, oh, no, that was just a freak accident. Sure, sure. I gotta run, though, or we'll be late. You betcha. Before I even finished speaking, she started bolting down the street. Chasing after her, I make a mad dash for school. Better to not be late, no matter what day. My eyes are focused squarely on the board, occasionally darting to the teacher while she speaks. Dancing across the page is my pen, guided effortlessly by my hand, almost as if up by a force divine in nature. I hardly have to spare a glance at it, though it, was, or it is exactly where I expect it to be. I wordlessly grin to myself, knowing that things are right with the world, at least for a brief moment. With the tolling of the bell, I get to my feet and pack my things. I give Yuri a wave as she shuffles out of the room, no doubt headed for the music room to meet Monica. She smiles warmly in response, returning my smile, before bowing politely. She's bound tight, but over the past week she's been talking with me in class, asking questions, opening up. It's almost an unfamiliar feeling, having classmates and friends. God, that sounds even sadder than I thought it would. Picking up my bag, I sigh to myself. So wait, hold on a second. Can I scroll? Okay, I'll grab that. Da, 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 da. She's on swipe, but over the past week she's been talking with me in class, asking questions, opening up. Haven't we only known her for like a couple days? I guess maybe that still counts. Just, I don't know. Guess I'll go find somewhere to eat lunch. Agony. Walking the halls, that's how I describe the general mood among the other third years. Our mid semester results are back. Looks like most people didn't fare as well as they expected. Sucks to be them. Should have studied better. Another sigh escapes my lips. I don't really believe that, and I know it. Part of me wishes I could help some of them, though I can't for the life of me imagine why. I hardly have the time to keep myself in fourth, let alone help someone else. My feet come to a halt. Wait, when did I start caring? Is this Amelia's doing? Or Sayori's? While wandering the second floor, I, I spy a rather disoriented debate club president. Lost? Me? Never. She hardly acknowledges me, her face still turned to the side. Have you seen... Uh, no, never mind. She's a big girl. What, a little sister or something? You could say that. What brings you down the, uh, this, or the, the second year classrooms? Honestly, just going for a walk. Got a destination in mind. The garden, if I make it that far. Company. I'm not opposed. She grins, her previously apprehensive look finally completely shaken from her face. Seemingly content with our broken, almost offensively lacking in context conversation, something one might call an affront to language, she tags along by my side. 
You don't have to. I'm not exactly all that interesting. That's exactly what the most what the most interesting people say. Touche. I grin to myself, not unpleased by this turn of events. I mean, don't punch a gift horse, right? That's not the phrase at all, but all right. <laughs> I sit onto a bench, and as I relax, I notice her shuffle a little closer to me. So, I heard a rumor that this club of yours was a touch more than you signed up for. I, I suppose that's one way to put it. Been accosted by so many new people, I'll bet you hardly know which one to pursue. I, I have no idea what you mean by that. She grins widely. Of course you don't. Fear not, of course. I'm here to help. I'm known for my, shall we say, over sleep with the masses. Yeah, now you've lost me. Is that just a euphemism for sleeping with people? Aika looks almost offended at my statement. With me? No, never. Well, not never. I just haven't found the right person yet. So what the hell were you alluding to? That I can get people to talk to you? How did you even get that idea? Is your mind perpetually in the gutter or something? Based on other routes, yes. Got me there. In any case, how about your lunch? How is it? Aika readjusts herself, seemingly patting herself down and picking up the lunchbox she'd set to the side. Yes, indeed. It's nothing dramatic. Something my father put together for me this morning as I was late getting up. Oh, you live with... Of course you do. Never mind. She throws me a look, but thankfully doesn't pursue her train of thought vocally. How's life? Damn, I thought I was terrible at small talk. In my defense and debate, all there is is big talk. I don't get all that much practice. Well, that makes two of us. Well, that I'm the leader of a debate club, too, all of a sudden. Ha, huh, I wish. No, just, I don't know, small talk's not really my thing. If I'm talking, it tends to be about the big things. That so? I guess. Never been one for wasted breath. She chuckles a little. Boy, do I know. So, have you been up to much like today? Nah, not me. Unless you can't endless paperwork for this club. Hey, whatever floats your boat. One day, it might just sink it. You won't know until you put that last barrel on when you'll start taking on water. Interesting way to put it. Are you stressed? She seems to consider my question for a moment. I wouldn't call it stressed, or that I think I've bitten off a little more than I'd typically be interested in chewing. Ha, huh, don't worry. I absolutely know that feeling. She shares my grin, getting to her feet as she glances toward the garden. Shall we? Lead the way! I swing the door to the roof open, listening to the loud screech it makes. Alright, are we sitting there right now? I guess that was a light blue flash, huh? I'm a good fool, uh -huh. There you are. I was starting to get worried. No, why would I be worried? Sitting in a regular spot, my best friend felt as I approach her. Because you love me. Uh, as if. I giggle as I take my seat next to her. Here. She pushes a lunchbox into my hands while we're turning away from me. So what's in the mood today? I... You! <laughs> I buff her shoulder and she turns back around. I didn't make it for you or anything. Didn't you? Oh. No, I mean, I did, but... <laughs> I wiggle my butt into a more comfortable position before cracking up on the lunchbox. Ooh, is that fried chicken? Where'd you go all this? It's... I don't want to talk about it. My friend, put the box to the side. We talked about this, not. No secrets. I... It's not that simple. Besides, can't you just be happy that I made something for you? I can. She bites her lip. I saw it on sale yesterday and it reminded me of you. Where'd you get the money for it? She glances away, but it tells me all I need to hear. You can't keep pulling money from that little pile of savings every time you want to do something nice for me, Natsuki. Why not? Obviously, both of that pile isn't going to last forever. But I want to. I... I furrow my brow as I glance over the edge of the roof. The value 
distortion from here is pristine, so much so that she can almost hear it from here. I mean, that's the sky, but okay, I'll take your word for it. Is that so wrong? I don't know why you try so hard. Because I know if I don't, you won't eat. And I know that even when you do, I have to make you keep it down. You can't keep putting off that appointment, Siori. I just be... Don't you dare say it! Let's get wraps my sleeve. I'll go with you. Just please go this time. I'll consider it. No, just do. You've been considering it for two years. Oh, maybe. But maybe you will go. Maybe. She doesn't say anything, but her eyes tell me all I need to hear. Ziori, do you trust me? I do. Then why, then why does it feel like every single time you're doing your hardest to push me away? Because that's what I'm best at. That's the only thing I'm good at. I can't look her in the eye. Everything I've done, I've done because I wanted to help you the way you helped me. And I appreciate... No, I don't think you do. I'm sorry, that was uncalled for. No, you're right. I did just push you off. But it's not because I don't trust you. It's because... For a moment, I closed my eyes trying to find the words she wants to hear. The words that she might find acceptable. But they don't come. Instead, I'm left with unceasing questions. I just... It hurts when I see you hurting. I don't want you to feel like that. Then why do you deflect the way you do? She turns away from me once more. You talk about helping others all the time, but when was the last time you stopped to pay her to let someone else help you? When was the last time you stopped to help yourself? I don't need help. I don't deserve it. That's exactly how it feels. She turns back and looks me in the eye. It doesn't have to be much. Just, I make these for you and enjoy. You don't, you don't have to eat them. I know. You're just making sure that I've always got something. Thank you. D don't mention it. She flushes a little, scratching her cheek. I, uh, I should probably eat my own now. It's all gonna be cold. Do you wanna go for a walk and reheat them? Her eyes light up if just a little. Y yeah. I, I mean, sure, if that's what you want. I chuckle as I stand up offering her a hand. See? Not so bad when the shoe's on the other foot, no. That sounds like something Yuri would say. <laughs> I've been practicing. She takes my hand, and after getting to her feet, she seems to linger holding onto it for just a touch longer than I think she intended to. One of these days, we're going to have to talk about it, but 